Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over at Cable Channel 3. And you can get us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. Sandylandcenter.org. Or you can come and visit with us on the south side of the square. Like this morning, we had people come in and visit and had coffee, and it was a good morning. Not only was it a good morning, but it's a wet morning. We have been having rain, 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 and we don't want it to go away because it has been filling in all the, um, the systems that need the water that we have been in this drought over the last several um, years, it seemed like. So we're thankful for the rain. So we do want it to stay here for a little while, and it is here for a little while, because over the greater Midwest, this heavy rain and thunderstorms uh, is just the pattern of the day. And there's been flash flooding, in our, uh, that is the greatest, the greater concern, uh, not only here, but in um, southern parts of Kansas, and also southern Missouri. So it's been, this pattern is quite widespread. And the widespread rain, it's been bringing in one to three inches of rain in some areas, and locally much more than that. In some areas, as many as five to seven inches. In other areas, though, over in the, uh, in the Midwest, the, the Canadian high pressure brings pleasant um, temperatures and some low humidity. But right now in the square in St. John, it is cloudy, it is overcast, with some locations nearby are uh, reporting intermittent rain. And for the next six hours, we can expect some more showers and thunderstorms, um, but they should um, taper off by the mid-afternoon. And some of that cloudiness will disappear. And as the cloudiness decreases, the temperatures will climb into the mid-70s, topping out right at about 78 degrees for the high this afternoon. And we can also expect a shift in the wet wind pattern as it shifts from northwest to northeast and move more east northeasterly as the day goes on with the wind speeds topping out at 12 miles per hour. And for today, we can expect um, maybe as much as a quarter of an inch this afternoon. And tonight, it should be partly cloudy, the low of 61, and the wind pattern of 5 to 10 miles per hour. For the weekend, though, it promises to be quite a nice weekend. The outlook for Saturday, it's mostly sunny. And the high would be 84, with a, just a 10% chance of rain, 70% uh, humidity, and the winds easterly at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And Sunday afternoon, Sunday, look forward to it being partly cloudy as the morning comes in, um, just a 10% chance of rain also. The winds less than 10 miles per hour, and the high at 86 and the low of 80, 67, so some nice weather for the weekend. In our community, we have some birthdays today. We want to wish Clarence Messick on the 10th, um, his birthday, and on the 13th, it's Debbie Pound. So happy birthday, Clarence and Debbie. And uh, for some wedding anniversaries, we have Joe and Christy Snyder on the 12th, and on the 14th, Leon and Judy Shelton. So wish those happy couples um, a happy anniversary also. Tonight uh, is the last night for the hot summer nights in the square. And uh, there is promises to be free music, lots of music. Lots of hot dogs, hamburgers, lots of games, basketball, basketball, lots of dancing, street dancing, giveaway prizes, and um, just other refreshments also. And this is 
for all age groups. So come out and celebrate the last of the summer. I know the young people don't like to hear that, but the summer is getting away from us and soon the summer will be gone and we're back to school days. So come on out and enjoy the last night in the square. And we have some good news. The water nitrate plant is finally uh, in operation. Um, the city manager, Mr. Mel Chesbro, stated that the, the new water treatment plant went online and as they test for the nitrate levels, it's been testing well below the 10 parts per million that is recommended by the powers that be. And that's good news for people like myself who have been buying the bottled water for cooking and drinking. So we can just go ahead and get it from the tap now. And I think that's a, a great service um, for our community. And that will all go well for better health out outcomes for everyone. So congratulations to the city. And it's, I know it's been a long and laborious some, sometimes I'm told test the operation, but it is online and we are all glad for that. And the city will announce a date when they will have a formal de dedication for that plant. Mark your calendars for August the 17th um, for an afternoon in the square. The members of the Eden Valley Church, the church and all its members, are inviting you for an afternoon in the square. It will start at three o'clock and there will be music, lots of different types of entertainment. And I know it went well last year. And so come on out and support that effort because they will be taking up donations and the donations for that effort will support uh, a great mission work that they that the church do. They take a, a great team of people down to Guatemala. So please mark your calendars and I will tell you some more as we get near to the date um, for that. Today, um, over at the Sunflower Center, for our menus we are serving qu quick Swiss steak, cream potatoes, seasoned Scandinavian mixed vegetables, cottage cheese, vegetable salad, a berry cobbler, that sounds nice, and milk and coffee. And on Monday, they have on the menu Hungarian pork chop, seasoned noodles, buttered chuck wagon corn, fresh vegetable salad, jellied fruit cup, and um, milk and tea or coffee. Sounds very good. And for Ma Maxville, today they're serving steak teriyaki with rice, mixed vegetables, cranberry sauce. And we will get a new menu for next week and I shall tell you some more. So please support those two centers and if you need lunches to be brought to you again do remember that we have volunteers who will bring it for you so call over at the center and they'll be happy to uh, render you that service and our thought for the day time is one of the most precious ingredients every day bring 86,400 seconds Every day bring 86,400 seconds. Don't lose them because whatever is not used, it's lost forever. So carpe diem, seize the day. And have a great weekend and we will be with you next week.